For more on World Sight Day, I'm joined by Dr. Aaron Miller. He's a pediatric ophthalmologist and active in the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Thank you so much for joining us. So, um, Dr. Miller, let's start with video games and screens. How much of a role do they really play in affecting our eyesight or even nearsightedness? Well, absolutely. Um, near activities play a role in nearsightedness to, um, development to a certain degree. What we don't know is the extent of it. Now, once we carry that near activities over to other such things as screen time and more specifically video game playing, that becomes a little bit more difficult to tie in. Um, and I think that there's multiple factors that play a role in this area. I know growing up, my parents were always telling me to step away, get away from the television screen. What is behind bad eyesight? How much of it is hereditary um, or how much of it is the environment we live in? I think that you actually covered the main two areas that really play a role in this. It's actually both. I think that um, you know keeping uh, the environment and a, and a, uh, you know doing near activities and reading in well lit areas, and also having the environment of where you have a screen on to have the light be about the same intensity as the screen um, actually plays a factor. And then lastly, as you point on to, I do think genetics is absolutely huge aspect of what plays a part in the actual eventual development of nearsightedness. In China, we saw the story where Chinese are dealing with myopia, 30 million diagnosed with high myopia. How have detection and treatment changed over the years? Well, you know, before this wasn't quite the, as serious of an issue, but as people started realizing the impact that extreme nearsightedness plays on the overall eye health, such as causing conditions such as retinal detachment, glaucoma, and other causes of blindness, it has become a much more serious issue. As the nearsightedness rates have been increasing, there's been a lot more looking into specifically what it is, what is driving this factor. And so, at this point, we don't have definite things. We have hints to areas. We definitely think near work is playing a role. But at this point, there's still a lot to be um, discovered and, and understood in this area. You know, you mentioned lighting just a moment ago. We hear a lot of people saying, don't take your cell phone to bed and, you know, don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing because you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so how Absolutely, can a person, I'm guilty of myself. How can a person rest his or her eyes? Do you have any other advice for us on World Sight Day? Absolutely. Well, the American Academy of Ophthalmology is an advocate of the 20-20-20 rule. And the 20-20-20 rule basically says for every 20 minutes of reading, of near activities that you do, take about 20 seconds to spend about looking about 20 feet to 20 meters um, away from you. So that's a good way of, of giving your eyes a break and taking a rest. So think of 20-20-20 and how that, that is going to hopefully um, help your eyes feel better and less, get less fatigued and over the long term maybe make a difference in the near side development. All right, Dr. Aaron Miller, thank you so much for joining us.